Hello, men sang mao from the island of Panaboy. My name is Kenneth Edmund, and this morning I'll be answering three questions that have been brought to me. The question is, what is your religion? Well, I'm part of the Christian faith. That is my religion. I am a Christian. Part or a denomination that you belong to. Uh, you know, I really don't identify myself belonging to any part of a, you know, denomination because that really brings, you know, a lot of uh, arguments and debates. What I'm just gonna say here is I'm I'm a Christian and I believe uh, where I go to church I believe that uh, we believe in God and the Trinity and we believe that Jesus died rose from the dead and we believe in the Holy Spirit that's what we believe that's uh, where I go to church that's what we believe not just where I go to church but according to the Bible all of these things are mentioned all of these things are evident so yeah I'm a Christian and so you should be I believe in Jesus that he died for our sins and yeah he forgive you he forgive me and we just need to accept that truth because the Bible says that we need to believe in faith because you can believe and without faith it will not work so there there you have it thank you, thank you. coming live Kaselele Manko my name is Justin Lionel Senda I'm from the beautiful island of Bonape. My religion is Christianity. And I wouldn't say religion because Christianity is not a religion, but it's a relationship. The relationship you have with Jesus Christ. And the ministry that I'm joining with it right now is Christian Mission Fellowship International, which means CMFI. And it's, it originated in Fiji a couple years back. And our church is at Chomara uh, Palikro. In our uh, ministry, uh, we believe that um, Jesus Christ is the, the way, the truth, and the life. And that we can get to heaven only by Jesus Christ, by just giving our life to Him. Because God sent His, uh, in the Bible it says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him sh shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So God sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die for your sins and my sins. And because he's the only way to heaven. So there are two we uh, places we're gonna go after we die, either hell or heaven. So even have faith that it is not by accident that uh, we are having this interview. I believe in our faith that it's by God's plan. And I believe in our faith that we, we must all give our life to Jesus today so that we can one day go to heaven. My name is Noriko Lopez. I'm from Japan, but I've been here more than 40 years. Buddhism. We are a member of Sokagaka International, SGI. One member country among 192 countries in the world. Under Oceania, we are SGI Micronesia family. We believe in the Nichiren Daishonin's Buddhism, which our mentor, Dr. Daisaku Ikeda, humanitarianism life philosophy is based on. In our hearts, we have a Buddha's nature pure essential of life by praying and doing activities for better human being, for better life, for world peace and individual happiness. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Christina. I'm from Yap. <clears throat> Staying here in Ponape for almost 20 years. And then my religion that I've been attending here in Ponape is Nazarene. Before I've been attending assembly, and then I just stopped assembly of God, and then I just stopped attending the Nazarene church. So when the time that I uh, attending the Nazarene church, I really find out that uh, it's really speak to my heart the things that the the doctrine of the Nazarene church. The belief of the Nazarene Church is um, Church of the Nazarene confesses itself to be a branch of Christ's one holy universal, an apostolic church embracing as its own the history of God's people recording in the Old and New Testament. 
and God's people through the ages in all the expression of Christ's church. Our denomination received the grit of the first five Christian century uh, or as expression of of its own faith we identify with the historical church in the preaching the word administrating and administrating the sacrament maintaining a ministry of apostolic faith this and in inculcating the discipleship of christ like living and service i would call to a holy living holy living the only thing that I really felt um, uh, uh, engaged with this religion is the way that uh, it speaks the word of Christ to myself. So the one that we stand on is uh, the sanctification. So to make Christ light all over the nation. That's it. Okay, uh, my, my name is Queen Sasha Kalen. And my religion is Protestant. I'm married to uh, a Catholic. Um, the religion that I am um, that I belong to is uh, Protestant. So our belief is we believe in God. Um, we believe in uh, the Son, Jesus. And as for um, Catholic, mostly their what they believe in is um, the mom, the mother, the Jesus uh, mom, uh, Mary. I'm from Nech. My religion is Catholic, and in Catholic we believe in God, the Son, and the Mother. Hi, my name is Melia Sapias. My, mm, my religion is Catholic, and I also believe in God's Son and the Mother. My name is Jerome, and I am from Chuk. I'm here in Pompeii, just going around telling people about Jesus Christ because okay. I believe we're in the last days and they want to receive them as their Lord and Savior and turn away from their sin and there's no religion because I'm just not going around telling people about coming to church every day but telling about Jesus Christ too. Convincing people. Yes, convincing too because I'm not, I don't want to be right here just all by me having, the, having Jesus but I'm not sharing out. I need to. And um, one day, one day, the Bible says that God will be coming back soon. We don't know. Tomorrow, next year, next week, we don't know. But I believe He's coming back soon. But my question to you guys is, is your heart ready for Him? Yes. Is your heart ready for Him? Because God is a really loving God because He gave us the second Adam. He's here. The first Adam, God gave them a test, but he failed. But the second Adam here is Jesus Christ. He poured his love for us that we may have freedom and all the things we have, we need. That's why he's a really loving God and he really cares for us. And I don't want to be right here and embarrassed before him because the Bible says that. Here, let me read it to you in Pompey and says, People, what is that means that if you confess me before men, I will confess you before the Lord in heaven. So I'm believing that God is coming back soon. And my question is to you guys, is your heart ready for him?